In this video, I'm going to be showing you the source for Lico and also how to make a Joe Lico at the end of the video. So to start off with the source for Lico, just with a tungsten alone, it's used in theater, TV, and stage, and film as well. And it's known for its control of light, very long throw, and the patterns you can produce with the light. This tungsten unit has three main parts. The first one is the bulb socket, the Lico body, and the lens barrel. The lens barrel contains the shutters and the reflector. The shutters are very important because they control the spill of the light and also the shape of the light. There's also a little screw on the side if you want to loosen it to twist the barrel. In order to put in the lens or the lens barrel, you want to line up the grooves of the lens and the Lico barrel. The lens barrel decides the spread of the light. The lower the number, the more narrow the beam, the larger the number, the wider the beam. The hole at the side of the Lico barrel is used to change the distance of the lens from the barrel. Changing the distance will affect the spread of the light and also the texture of the light. I'll show you guys later what I mean. The Lico barrel has two different slots, one for the iris and one for the gobo. And the slot that you need to unscrew to open is where the iris would be. And the iris is used to shrink the circle of the light. The slot that's already exposed is for the gobo, and that's where you can put in your patterns. Just be mindful that the lens will make everything upside down and inverted. So just adjust to that when you're putting in the gobo. The bulb socket holder is located at the top of the light. In order to access the bulb, you just have to unscrew the bronze screw at the top and slowly pull out the socket with the bulb. Just be careful that there's a glass reflector surrounding the bulb, so be careful not to break the bulb accidentally or damage the glass reflector. To change the bulb or just take out the bulb, you first want to unlatch the bulb fastener. It's just a simple hook mechanism. Just squeeze it with your fingers and then you just open it. Taking out the bulb can be very challenging because there are three points of contact with the 750 HPL bulb. Because the lower wattage bulbs like the 575 don't usually have the third pin. So just take your time, try to hold the bulb from the base and not from the glass and just wiggle it out until you have the bulb out. Don't be scared to use a little bit of force just to pull it out because it did take me a while to take this bulb out. To put the bulb back in, you just have to align the three holes, press it in with both thumbs on the base of the bulb, and then pinch and lock the bulb fastener. To put the bulb socket back into the barrel, you just have to align the screw holes and also align the sides of the barrel so that the, the four lines align. You also have to be careful because the Lico is a hot strike, which means there's no switch of the light. So once you plug it into power, it'll turn right on. But this is what I was talking about with the shutter. Everything is kind of the opposite. So if you move the right shutter, the left side will adjust. And if you move the top shutter, the bottom one adjusts. So play it around with it and, you know, get used to the oppositeness of these shutters. It also goes with the gobo as well. So if you put a gobo right side up, it's going to be upside down and backwards. But yeah, using the shutters to focus the light is really helpful on set if you want things to stand out a bit or have things a little more exposed or you need extra precision for a backlight or something. The shutter is one of the reasons why the Lico is a very useful light on set. Now let's get to the fun part. The Joe Lico is combining the power of the HMI bulb and the versatility of the Lico barrel in order to form a really bright and precise light. First off, the Joker is just a normal HMI system. I made a video on how to use an HMI system. Links are going to be in the description, but all the HMIs kind of work the same way. So in order to make the Joe Lico, you have to have these three tools, a flathead, Allen keys, and Phillips. You know, this is going to depend on the screws that are on the Joker already. To start off, I like to have the Joker upside down 
and we want to separate the reflector from the bulb. So you want to do that with these three screws. The next step is going to be unscrewing the beaker holder and then also the beaker. If you decide to change the bulb or just check the leads on the HMI bulb and the socket, you just want to gently pull the bulb out on the little spring mechanism and you know just be careful the bulb is very sensitive uh, there's no other thing you, you need to really do just pull the bulb out gently and then when you need to put the bulb in you could just snap it in the mechanism will snap the bulb securely it's best pulling out the bulb with the porcelain end at the base of the bulb instead of the glass Again, remember not to put exposed fingers on the HMI bulb because the bulb is very sensitive to grease and it could possibly blow up. So just use clean gloves or clean cloth. Now that you took out the beaker holder and the beaker, you want to take out the screws that hold the beaker holder because the next step is going to be connecting this joker base into the Lico barrel. And if you have the screws on, it'll get in the way and won't fit properly. Also guys, a very helpful tip, these screws can be lost easily. I usually tape them at the upper lid in the inside of the case so that I know where it is at all times and it doesn't get lost because once we have to put the joker back together, you're going to need those screws. If you're going to make an 800 Jolico instead of a 400, there are a few differences. One, you would need this bulb riser. This is only for the 800 joker. You want the bulb to sit higher on the socket. And the other difference is that you need a special barrel that can take a larger bulb. It's not going to be a normal Lico barrel. You're going to have to specify to the rental agent or if you decide to buy, make sure it, make sure it fits the Joker 800 bulb. All right, going back to building the Joker 400 Joe Lico, you're going to need uh, an adapter that would take the Joker base. There's also an adapter for the Joker 800. The only difference is Joker 800 adapter is going to have a bigger hole to fit the bigger bulb. It's usually like a bronze color, whereas a 400 adapter is silver. Before you place the Joker base, make sure to unscrew the screws that hold the reflectors so that it can fit into the new slots of the Joe Lico adapter. You want to position the Joker so that the cable is hanging downwards and not to the side or up because it's going to create strain on the cable. So once you do that, just put in the joker bulb and using your hex key, just tighten it. It might not fit all the way in, but as long as you feel that the joker base is, is fully pressed into the adapter, you should be fine. And then just turn it on just like any HMI system. Using the joker bulb, you could see that the light is more daylight color and it's also going to be a lot brighter. But now you have more control of the light using the shutters, the barrel, iris, and the gobo. Also guys, here's what it looks like when you adjust the lens. Adjusting the lens usually just adjusts the focus of the light onto the subject. So it, depending how far your subject is, it's going to change the quality of the light. The closer the lens is to the bulb, it's going to have a wider spread. But that's it for this video on the Joker and the Lico and also making a Joe Lico. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.